By 1947, hardened war correspondents like Robert Kappa and George Roger were seeking new challenges. Kappa had covered the American D-Day landing at Omaha Beach. Roger had photographed the relief of Belson concentration camp. To photograph the peace, they had become two of the four founding members of a cooperative photo agency called Magnum. We divided the, the, the world into four, uh, really rather like God in a way, uh, just like uh, you know cutting an orange into four sectors. And um, we each took the parts that we were most interested in and where we knew our way around. I had Africa and the Middle East, and Kappa had America and a sort of ambassador at large. American writer John Morris, who had covered the War for Life magazine, was also looking for peacetime work. After the war, where I was a war correspondent, I thought, how can we bring photography to bear on, world, on the problem of world understanding? Let's give peace a chance. And at that time, I was, became picture editor of Ladies' Home Journal, which was a great American monthly for women. The Ladies' Home Journal was probably the best read magazine in, for women in USA in the 40s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. A uh, tremendous circulation, and it was quite adventurous in its stories and um, moved very much with the times. Kopp had been having an affair with Ingrid Bergman, and he was somewhat unhappy and frustrated. He, he and John Steinbeck cooked up a project to go to Russia together and to do a story on ordinary people in the Soviet Union. And that seemed to me to be a good subject for Ladies' Home Journal. I had an another idea, which turned out to be a series called People Are People, The World Over. 12 families throughout the world every month for 12 months. And we did that by photographing things that every family everywhere has to do. So we picked farming, which is the universal occupation, and we hoped that this would bring a sense of commonality around the world. People were curious to know what was happening to the French, what was happening to the people in China, what was happening to the Japanese that were so horribly bombed. Could we still be one world again and, uh, and not enemies? It would be wonderful if we could show that people are people all the world over. People are people was Magnum's international debut. John Morris wrote articles that pulled together the photographer's work into a 12-part series. Here are 88 of the two billion people who inhabit the planet Earth they are posing for a photographer sent by an American magazine, the Ladies' Home Journal. 